Hello and welcome back to Occupy Mars. Um, it's a little bit dark at the moment. We're in the middle of a sandstorm. It's uh, midday and it's pitch black. In fact, if we turn our light off, it's hard to see anything at the moment. Um, apart from these domes which are glitching out a little bit, which is pretty cool. Um, what we're going to do here is we're actually... You can actually see stuff moving, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a sandstorm. Hopefully nothing hits us. Um, it's it's pretty dark at the moment. Oop, stuff's flying around all over the place. So what we're going to do at this stage is talk today about what we're going to build. And uh, it's good timing, actually. We're going to build a living room and a bathroom. So something to make life a little bit more comfortable and to get us out of this sandstorm. So to do that, what we need to do first is go to the tech tree. We need to look at materials. Uh, you need to have unlocked this. It is after the survival capsule. This is a living capsule. This is what we're talking about today. This is a single capsule adapter, the bathroom, and the living room. Now, I will also be talking today about the additional uh, capsule, which is the advanced connectors. So I will be talking about the advanced connectors, but that is available later after the small crusher using the table, uh, the workbench table. So... Go to blueprints and in living, that's where we're looking. And this is what you'll need, a single capsule adapter. This single capsule adapter, you can place it onto any normal uh, corridor. Um, but the reason we need to do this is it's a different type of door. Okay, so this will change the door. So if we build this, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so now it turns it into this single door. What that allows us to then do is we can build onto that with one of these. Let's take, for example, here the bathroom. So I can now build the bathroom onto the capsule adapter. Um, what I'm going to do, though, for the purpose of this video, is I'm going to destroy the single capsule adapter. Oh, it looks like the storm's passing. That's nice. We're going to come back, and now I'm going to show you what it's like with the advanced capsule adapter. So this is like the single, um, only it's, a, it's an extra room and it has three singles attached to it. So it attaches to the uh, door as normal, but it gives us three doors. So I'll show you these as we build this. So there's one door here, second door here, and a third door here. This allows us to build more structures off of this. So now I can go ahead and I can build my bathroom if I want to. Uh, I've got that there. I can also go ahead and build my living room. So we'll go ahead and we'll add the living room here. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and build another capsule. The only one other one available at the moment is a survival capsule. Um, and I, that doesn't actually fit. So because that doesn't fit, we're not going to put that on there. We're just going to go for another bathroom. Actually, do you know what? Let's make this a bit better. Let's make it a bit more realistic, shall we? Let's go for a... Uh, a living room on either side okay and let's go for a bathroom in the middle so that makes a lot more sense right we're going to have two living rooms with one bathroom that's kind of it's a bit more realistic okay so now let's build these out right so we're going to build them as we normally would build the capsules make sure you've got them enough materials to do so perfect Excellent. Now let's go and have a look and see what they look like now they've built. So if you're going to build them as part of your base, just be aware of what they take in terms of electricity. And if you have water connected to your base, you'll also be able to use this as a tap. So one of the beauties of the bathroom is you no longer need to go to the well. So we're going to come through our greenhouse into our corridor. And on the right hand side here, this is what we've just, uh, no, that's not, <laughs> that is not it. It is here. So this is the capsule adapter. It is a room that we can simply walk into and this has three doors from it. So this is going to be bedroom number one. We can go into here. We have two first aid kits that we can now acquire. There's one down there. There is another one somewhere else. I forget. I think it might be one of these containers. It's not in there. It's not in there. It might be in... Uh, I think it's in this one. Oh, it's not in there. It's, it's hiding from me. I'm pretty sure there's another one. Maybe it's in here. No, it's not in there either. I don't know where it is. I'm sure there was two. Maybe it's in here. Nope. 
I don't know where it is, but I'm pretty sure there were two first aid kits that you got in here, not just one. But it does give you a bed, so you can sleep in here. You can use the bed as you normally would. And this is it. It's just a little living room. Uh, you can use the chair to sit down. It's clipping out, so it's a little bit buggy at the moment. Uh, it goes through the desk, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, just some cool stuff. You can look around, play about, and uh, sleep in your bedroom. That's it. If we go over to the other side, we have another one here. There's a medikit here. Only one there. I'm pretty sure there was two. And in the middle, we have our bathroom. So if we go into the bathroom, three things we can do in here. We can open the shower. If we go into the shower, you need to open both sides. Oh, we can use it. We can turn the shower on. We should probably close the door, though. Oh, we don't want to lose any water. All right, and we're in our spacesuit. I totally appreciate that we're in our spacesuit. But we can, we can use that. We'll turn that off. Open the door. So this uses four electricity. And here we can charge our suit. So this is how we get our hydration. Perfect. Now, I don't know if this needs to be connected up to the water or not. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. It just says that it uses four water. It doesn't say it uses any... any it says it uses four electric, no water. Uh, so I don't know if this actually does take any away. We'd have to check that. You can also use the toilet, and that will give you the waste canister that you can use. Uh, you can do that once per day. If I go and do that again now, it won't let me. It will tell me that it has already been removed today. And so this is the living quarters. This is what you can build and how you can build it. If we look on the map, you'll be able to see what it looks like if we zoom into our base. And this is where we're currently standing. So this is the adapter and the three that come off of it. So you can uh, build a corridor with lots and lots of these. If you want to maybe plan for the future, you're going to have lots of people staying with you. Uh, maybe you want to build this out so you have um, lots of these for people to sleep in and stay in. Um, almost treat it like a hotel in a way. But the single adapter or the multi adapter and the three rooms uh, the, the, the three rooms that you can have which is obviously the two living rooms and a bathroom uh, if you want to go a step further you could put wall signs up uh, you can go and print these out if you printed out a wall sign you can put these above the door here uh, just to say what the rooms are could be a nice little addition to be able to do that or you kind of know that you've got a bedroom a bedroom and a bathroom in the middle so yes you can build out as many of these as you want and uh, that is the living room and the bathroom for Mars.